why you know I've, I've struggled, like like I say, like lockdown, we got shut down. That's why I had to move to this building. In lockdown, I had ten visits from police and council because we stayed open, obviously. You know, it is what it is. It's hard to shut your own business, isn't it? Just because someone says shut your business, it's like fuck off. What am I going to do if I'm not training, sitting in caravan? I don't think so. So, like, one of the lads here, just two week, three week in, I just thought, fuck it. I just messaged him and said, fancy training? And he went, yeah, what time? And I thought, oh, sound. So it started with him, and then a few of us come up, mentioning the names, or just in case we're supposed to be working or whatever, but a few more came up, and then some from Leeds, and then some from Bradford, some from Bucks, and literally the police came round about 40 heads, <laughs> just a big steam room. It was funny as fuck, man. <laughs> but it opened up a tin of worms and, um, the, and rent were a lot cheaper there. Like this is three times as much. That really fucking hit me hard. It, it was, it's worth it man. It was worth it just to say fuck off. Pretty bullshit. You know what I mean? So it's just consistency, isn't it? It's consistency. I don't do anything different to anybody else. I just turn up five days a week, every week. Even when I'm working full time, I'm here every night. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, you know what I mean? No, I don't know how else it sticks with me now, but <laughs> it's a good job she likes Jiu Jitsu, isn't it? But, yeah. What are we doing full time? Yeah, landscape, garden, I've done all sorts. Construction and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coach this, yeah. So, I'm doing like for good 70 hours a week, 70 odd hours. You know what I mean? yeah. It's hard, isn't it? Hard on body as well, because I'm just sitting in an office, fucking playing with myself. <laughs> or fucking shoveling cement, shoving wheelbarrow and shit, just carrying flags and before all that, it was construction, you know, just constant graft, labouring, you know. Not that skilled, really. So, yeah. <laughs> Apart from Jiu Jitsu. Oh, I'm, I'm not, I've never been a big compare. I've done my odd comp, I've done, done a few bits, you know, a few British Open, a few Nargis. A few bits and pieces, but never been a big competitor. I just never, never had drive to go out and do it. I just love training. I just want to get good at jiu jitsu. You know what I mean? Like everyone's like, you should train, you should do this super fight, that super fight. Yeah, I probably should, but I just can't be asked. When it comes down to it, you know what I mean? I, just, I love training and I love making people better. Like, all, like little Jack and Lewis and all that, and Jay and st these purple belts I've got now. They're all, they're all getting solid, man. You know what I mean? They're fucking solid lads. They've only been four years, five years now. And the fuck game getting a good crew together. Right. It's all about me. Oh. What's that? Those lads been with you from start? Yes, well, about six, eight months after I started a village or something like that. But yeah, they've been just here, really. You know what I mean? So, doing that. And now we've got this fucking guy on the team. <laughs> well, I've just got a lot. Everyone's different, are they? I mean, everyone's like, oh, I want a game like you, but. I'm 95 kilogram, so if you're 60 kilogram, you're not gonna have a game like me, are you? Like pressure passing, heavy, slow shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I've got leg locks and all this other stuff, but I'd say I'm more passing and, and like just deep under a calf guard game where I can just use a bit of like slow power as well, if you like, you know what I mean? But if you're 60 kilogram, you need a, you've got a different body to me, you need a completely different game, don't you? In my opinion. So, you know what I mean? So, it, it, Everyone's different. I put different things into everybody else. Everybody, you know. So, yeah, that's it. If I can get somebody to do what I should have done, then I know that there'll be a champion. You know what I mean? I'm just since I started this gym, I put everything into this gym. I've lived in a caravan for six years. You know, with no money. I've, this this took everything out of me. And I just I want to make someone like better than what I could have ever been, you know what I mean? Like there's a couple of lads in this gym now. And I promise you in five years will be fucking solid. Absolutely rock hard honestly. It doesn't matter what they do, MMA or grappling or whatever they go, but they'll be winning whatever they do, you know what I mean? So be better than what I could have been. So yeah. why? What was like your why behind it? Why? I don't know. I started this gym and then I feel like I got a few people I didn't want to let them down. There's been so many times I should have just shut the gym and give up on it. But for some reason I feel like I've got to keep going for these for these guys, not for me. I just keep turning up every day because I want to have somewhere to train for myself and then. Like I've got a bit of a family, you know what I mean? I could have quit six or seven times could have shut this gym down. You know, I've had nothing. So it's getting there now, so it's more. It's getting there, but it's tough, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's still there.
It's actually interesting that. So you, you like do all of this to like grow the team and then yeah. like make your own life series. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. I'm not like, I train with Ben and Owen and they're they love, they, they're competitors, they want it for them. I know they've got their own teams and they're doing it for the team as well, but they still got that drive, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like they're around 30 years old, and I think when you come into near 40, I need to just think about the next step. Like, everyone's like, oh, compete, compete. But it's like, I've been, in, I've been fucking grinding my fucking body for fucking 30 years, 20 odd years. You know what I mean? Just doing a shit job and fucking doing jiu jitsu and weights for fucking 25 years. My body's feeling it, you know. And, and I just don't, I don't want to compete half assed. You know what I mean? I think there's lads here upstairs who want it. They want the fucking, they want the competition. And I'm, I'm ready to put the time into it. And they know I'm here for them. Like, no matter what, there'll be a gym for them to train at, no matter what, because they know what I'm like. You know what I mean? So that's it. It's about them now. Get them good. You know what? When I first started Jiu Jitsu, I never thought I'd be a blue belt. Yeah, when, when I first started, uh, like properly Jiu Jitsu, specifically Jiu Jitsu, I did Taekwondo and like striking and MMA for years, but just a couple of months a year, a month or three months off, a month there and a year, a bit of judo, a bit of fucking traditional shit. And it was years before I found Jiu Jitsu specifically. And like, I've probably done it about 10 years solid, just Jiu Jitsu, you know what I mean? I knew bits before I started, like rear naked show, fucking armbar, footlock, you know, back take, fucking mountain shit, you know, basic stuff, Americanas and all that. But uh, when I first started, I just. I just did it for fitness because I was smoking full time. I, lived, I, I gambled, I had a shit job. I was working away all the time, just working away, spending my money, coming back, fucking blowing it, drinking it. And I had nothing. And I just thought, I've got to do something. And then just found Tom Harris there, and then obviously David and Martin took it over. And then I stuck with David and Martin till, till today, really. They're still like my guys, if you like, you know what I mean? But we had a good team there. There were Liam Cam, there were Lewis and that from Oregon. You know, they were all good guys now who were who were making a name or have got a gym. All started there, really. You know what I mean? And David and Martin are still there. I think Fred even trained there for a green or trained there for a bit. You know what I mean? That's what I like about it. I'm learning more and more about it. It's true. I'm just sort of expanding it out. Like hypothetically, if you could go back and speak to yourself, move back, what would you do? Just slap myself and say, just do better now. Definitely feel it. I just say just do more now when I was younger, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I should have done more, I should have competed more at the earlier belts and just competed all the time, that's what people should do. Why? Should, why? why? Because I think as soon as you get into Jiu Jitsu you should be competing no matter what, at white belt and blue, because it only gets harder, it only gets harder and you, you have to prep a lot more. When you're white and blue belt, it doesn't matter if you lose, it doesn't matter too much. If you, you, could, you could have 100 battles and never, never win. But you'll learn through that. And then when you start to get to purple and brown, you've got a bit more pressure on you. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's looking at you, oh, he's good in gym, but he can't win. He can't win this, he can't win that. Do you know what I mean? It's like, get good while you're in the low belt level. Do you know what I mean? Don't worry about the belts. Fuck the belts. Belts don't mean nothing. You take that belt off and I'm still a black belt. Don't matter. Do you know what I mean? I'd prefer to be a purple belt at my level and just smashing everybody at blue or purple now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what would you prefer to be? A beast of a blue belt or a shit black belt? What would you prefer to be? I'm me. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be a monster blue belt that can just wreck everybody. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'd want to be. But you're not. Like no, I'm not saying just me, but I'm saying in, in principle, don't worry about the belt, you know. It doesn't matter about the belt. Like, just be good at Jiu Jitsu. You know. That's it, isn't it? What's it matter about the belt? My, my stand on it is, yeah, I did want to get through the belts when I started, and oh, I can't wait to be this purple belt, and I can't wait to be brown belt. And I think, why? What's it matter? What's it matter, really? 
everything. And, yeah, you know, and then you've got these guys who are purple belt, compete, comp compete as purple belt, and they're fucking solid. You know what I mean? It's like you can have a black, you can have a black belt, you can have a fourth degree black belt if you want, but a purple belt's still gonna bum you. So what's the point in that belt? Why, if you've trained for fucking five years in no gi, why are you still a white belt? Why do you not deserve a purple belt or whatever? If you've put loads of, as much time in as someone with a gi, and you've still got no belt. I know it doesn't mean I want to say, but still it should be a syllabus for it, shouldn't it? It should be a, a belt system for it, like Eddie Bravo's got in really, hasn't it? Oh yeah. You know. But yeah, I don't see why you can't do that, you know what I mean? I'd still grade someone for no gi. I don't care. You know what I mean? If you just did no gi at my club, I'll still give you a blue belt, purple belt, if you're ready. I don't give a shit if you've got a gi on or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, we're doing more no gi now. I've only got one no gi, one gi class on a Monday, and then the fundamentals that Oldsworth does on a what day is it? Wednesday today. Yeah, that's it. Why is that? Why are you taking like the Because I still want to leave a bit of that tradition in okay. for, for grading and that. And I know that Gordo's still like a gi association, but I prefer no gi. I think no gi's the way now. Yeah. Is that you know, how you like to see it going in the future? 100%, like yeah.